Ladies and gentlemen, this is my thousand hours of Oregon. This is every single default take and every strategy I know that I use in ranked to help you guys rank up. So time stamps at the bottom, say with your friends, share with them and enjoy. So first, kids dorms, what operation should you bring? You should be bringing wall denial, bandit gate mute, one ADS person, like a Jaeger or Wamai. These guys are kind of optional, but you know, grenades and flashbangs and it's good protection and you have room for it uh another person would be probably a trap operator that's this is for like uh getting information sound cues across across the map and then the last two people probably just more utility man just bring you know a rooney lesion frost is also good you know the last two could really just be whatever i just be creative with it it could even be a 1.5 like a rook or a dock go with one of those but those are the main people i would choose so Let's go in and I get the setup going though. All right. So also, if you guys seen that the Macy J controversial take of uh, should you make head holes here? Honestly, I think everybody on the team, whether you're solo or not, has to be on board with these holes. But if your team seems pretty uncoordinated, then these holes are just going to work against you. And it's going to require too much coordination. So 50% of the time, I would reinforce this off unless my team is like aware that we're playing it. And if you're going to do like a trophy hole with the shield here. But next, reinforce the single right here for cover. And then should you make this a crouch or a standing rotate? I personally would do crouch. If you are worried that someone's going to come through pit and, you know, take the site. I think it's good for running in case you need to run across a breach or something like that. Next would be footholes here. The reason there'll be footholes is that way it's uh, a one-way angle for anybody that hops in the big window. It's like a little, little cheeky angle. Uh, popular very default shield spots right here. And if you're going to do it on pit, make sure it's on the right spot. Like right behind this doorway. And you're able to see in the trophy, not blocked off. Another one you could do is like right here. Put the shield right here, then you can look in the pit. But let's get these reinforced. All right, two variations. You can make this a white head hole rotate, so that way attackers can't use it against you. Or you can make a rotate. Up to you. Athena, why are you shooting the glass? It's because so I can see or here on the other side. I shoot a circular motion that because if I only do it in one direction, it gives them a whole look through, which I don't want to do that. Uh, shoot the radio. Very, very important. Okay, traps. You want to put traps like deep armory side. This this default cam is really uh, crucial because this way you don't have to worry about anybody coming this way. So any kind of traps. Parsley, this one gets people sometimes, but if you put a frost map right here, attackers like to parkour and then boom, frost map. Sound cues for trophy. Oh, another one is sound cues for white. White is a very, you know, low, low sound. Big one will hop in. Pit will hop in too. The Jaeger and the Wamai usually goes right here or like for nades. Uh, you know, you can do like frost on top here. So yeah, that's very, you know, you got, you got the first layer of the defense, which is the setup. Second layer would be the utility and the traps. The third layer is the positioning. So it's like the icing on the cake as you actually playing into the setup. So pretty decent. That's really the main way to defend kids. That's really about it. Oh, thinking about it. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, but like ways to play, like positions to play. Okay. So like you always want to be aware for like a Ying window hop in here or any kind of person. Amaru up the hatch too. Amaru through the kids window. Amaru through this hatch here is always very really common. Also this, the kids peak right here. It gets so many people sometimes. Just be aware of it, please. Make sure you're watching white. If it, if you're, let's say I'm sitting here, right? Minute 30. Boom. Everything seems good. But then... You know, some guy backstabs white or some guy backstabs pit, you know, you always got to be ready because the second they get any kind of map control is kind of wraps. But those are really the only crucial ways. Yeah, I mean, make sure like just play time like Oregon is a bomb site where you really don't need to peak that much if you're in a man advantage. If you're in a 4v4 or like a 4v5, OK, maybe you might want to look a little bit aggressive for pick, but that's how you should be playing any other map. Oh, another one is footholes here for white is optional, but up to you. But yeah, that's basically all I really know about kids and how to defend it. Just make sure like, it's really crucial that you guys don't lose these parts of the map control. If if you are going to give it up and play it together. So fortune through breach, you want to follow the funnel them through areas. So 
All right, so how you attack Oregon? Okay, there really are two really simple ways to attack it. Maybe two and a half, but no one really attacks Attic as much anymore. So the first one would be a default master tick. What's a default master tick? You take Armory first, make a rotate in here with like Sledge or Ash, take Trophy. This is a really big tip I can give you guys. Okay, let's say they have Trophy holes here, right? Or holes or not, you need to have control of Trophy before you open up the breach because if you open up the breach then you're left here you're looking at the breach and then no one's watching trophy swing so get trophy control first and then open up the breach if you can try to you know open this up let's say the bridge is open here now right if there's a k claw go below uh nay from the generator window go from below EMPs, super, super easy, but get the wall open for the first step. All right, next up, they have utility. How do I get past the utility here? Okay, this is actually a really a good one. If I was Lion, let's say there's a shield right here, right? And I'm Lion, or EM I have EMPs and a Gone 6. In order to get this shield or pit shield, this is a really good nice hack. You EMP this side wall here, and then you throw whatever you want, because this will disable all the EMPs or all the ADSs, and then pretty easy. When am I getting my charm? Hey, hopefully soon, dude. Ubisoft just got to hurry up. Oh, yeah. Also, take armory first, bro. Listen, this is really underrated, but you guys need to take armory. Or at least make sure it's clear. That way, you have an easier way of killing the guys in trophy. Next. Okay, so like, okay, you want to aim for this plant right here. Yeah, Macy, what you mainly just want to aim for this plant is the, the master default. You would have uh, one guy watching the rotate, one guy watching the pit swing. At this time, it's probably like a 4v3. You just come down, plant here. And yeah, that's basically it. But if you can't do that, an alternative you can do is open up this hole right here if people make it soft, and then go from here. But if Master is too one-dimensional, then you guys can rotate someone big window or rotate to someone to come up white. This way, you have multiple ways of getting gunfights and ratting them out if they're all going to be pushed back here. That's really about it uh, to attack these areas. The only this is comes down to your gunfights now. But yeah, like four master, one bag one door white for a backstab. Always, always really good. Take attic, you know, if you can. So that's like a default master take. Okay, what about like, a, let's say they're holding trophy really heavy and your team doesn't know how to push it. I would do a, a big window side take, a west side take. This is where you would go below and through kitchen, throw through small tower, and then you start nading below. Nay below kids, nay below whites, you know, wherever you, you think is going to help out the most. And your main goal is to walk up white, one person go big window, and then maybe one person go here on kids window. Maybe even games window, maybe even a backstab on pit. This is kind of like your bonus room that you can work with. But your main objective is to not hop in the big window, but it's mostly just to hit him from a different side and then gunfights will gun gunfire will really come to you the last the, the, the reason i say it's a two and a half take is you can go mash this is the first way people attack master is master and pit so this is where you would you know open up pit with maverick or ace and then you guys come through pit and master and then you pinch the only reason i think people don't really push attic anymore is because one when maverick got nerfed Two, it's like it's a lot more simpler to just go direct master. You're you're closer together. But pit is always those it's super underrated sometimes. I think people should do it a bit more sometimes. It helps out. So that's how I would attack master. And if you're going up against an aggressive team, master direct takes are really good because you get to bait them on the over here. You get if you push through trophy, you might be able to catch one of them off guard. Pretty nice. All right, moving on to laundry. Who should you have for laundry? You definitely need some sort of ADS. Jaeger or Romai. Trap audio. Legion, Malusi is good. Uh, you really just want thick utility. Just make it like a maze. A layers they have to come through. Barbed wire. Aruni gates. Elamines. Azami. And the last two people, honestly, just anyone with guns. You can really get away with Doc, Rook, Smoke, Chanka, uh, Solus, Vigil. I'll show you exactly what you... So there's, there's two kind of different ways you can kind of play it. All right, but generally what you want to do is okay there's two different there's two different ways you can do this the first one this is kind of been more popular in the past few months is making full footholds this way it, you can play all the way from back here and also you can it's a little bit easier to defend as well but if not if you're just doing it normally you would reinforce this left side and actually make head holes 
head holes right here instead of foot. So move them up one. Make a rotate on the far right side. That way you can't get shots from main. But if you want to make a little hole here to get a little pixel peek, you can. Head holes here. This way you can kind of throw smokes and shit or like whatever you want to peek. Reinforce this. Right side of elbow. Make a rotate. Don't mess up. Don't mind that rotate. But you would put two ADSs here and then put the shield. Don't put the shield right here connecting it. You want to move it back. This way you have room for the ADS to catch it. Uh, you would put well, my magnets over here, any kind of trap, but you want some sort of indicator that they have to conflict while they walk in. Because if they can just walk in for free, it's not going to be as hard. Put a thorn trap, put a beeper, put even like barbed wire. Head holes there. Why left over right? Uh, it's honestly personal preference because, you know, it's just the way you peek it. I partially do the left one here, the right one really up to you and that's when you can kind of get a an angle in the freezer too up to you guys though uh head holes here this way you can see t1 it's harder to walk down if you have these holes constantly here uh traps is really important for freezer because we all know people like to walk down freeze and pretend like i got all three of the hatches let's just say i got all three of the hatches uh right here personally i like to double reinforce this just in case if i'm ever gonna bunker on tarp i like having it reinforced but if you really don't want it reinforced, then you can make head holes here and then more potential to kill T1. And then, yeah, barbed wire. I like to put it further up because I don't want them to get the angle before sound cue. So. so get all three of those reinforcements on the hatches. Okay, so what you would do as a roamer, you would early hold on to T1. T1, okay, so there is... um. So this is bottom T1. This whole area is called T1 because it's the first floor of the tower. T2 is the second floor. T3 is T3 up there. So you want to early roam here. You want at least like to shoot off the deep, you know, the common pre places up here. Once you kind of like get a feel of what they're doing, because you don't you want to like you never really want an enemy to take map control for free. If possible, you want to contest them a little bit, you know, just keep them on the edge, basically. Indeed, I'm hydrated. So you can early roam T1, or you can early roam uh, green side. People, you know, it's very common for people to come uh, west side over, small tower over. So you can shoot drones here and eventually fall back to freezer. But yeah, you want at least like two light roamers, at least two, maybe even one. Oh yeah, traps also here. Like the reason I say traps, because traps nowadays will help prevent a lot of that rng of oh someone's accidentally backstabbing us and we didn't watch it so it's always really key for you guys to, to watch those areas but late round men your main goal is to funnel them through bunker door t1 or freezer and main you want them to funnel them down this way that way they have to come play into your setup but if we keep peeking if we keep peeking nonsense stuff and get man picked off then you're gonna lose but yeah like you know popular ways i would play is playing tarp this way you can support your teammates always play in a crossfire if you can like if you're not playing near anybody if you're about to get into a gunfight always just make sure like oh is someone here playing close to me this way you can kind of uh make sure you get refragged like elbow or like elbow and bunker should be able to help here they can help the front too if they wanted to just make smoke that shit off if you wanted to uh support the t1 holes support the freezer holes support the laundry you know you always want to like be in a position to help out at least two different angles in a, in, a, in a way but yeah like it comes down to experience and you will know how to play certain situations so that's how i would um so how do you exactly do you attack it now how do you attack organ how do you how do you attack the basement now okay so there are two different ways you can attack basement we'll start with the first obvious one we'll start with a tower minimal or a, a backside take back take tower minimal tower minimal means you're taking tower minimal means minimal map control so what you would do here is you would have a teammate or two work bunker this would normally be the flores taking out the elbow shield taking whatever utility you got because creating pressure ghost pressure right the next thing you would do as a you guys see me go amaru a lot but when they're working bunker i'm taking tower you take the from the top down to eliminate any rat spots so normally i would have a pre-placed camera in here about like 
I like right here. This is, you guys see me do this all the time, but I do it right here. And if I see anyone walk up, then, you know, I know. Well, yeah, you take tower, take it all the way top down. Clear all the shit out through the default cam. Make sure no one walks up to you one while you're doing this. Drone meeting, drone green, leave a flank cam for split. And then if it's e EMP, if there's a Kate on here, get the hatch open. Boom, 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 boom. You only need that hatch open and like think about like a red line. When you're doing a minimal tech, the red line is like right here. It's like that meeting split area. Boom. Once you have the hatch open, clear any shit. Make sure no one's under here. Have someone on T1 bunker. T1 and hatch. If you have three different ways of entry. So one guy's pressuring T1 holes. Bup, 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 bup. Floors is bunker. Boom, 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 boom. And then once all the utilities soften up and okay, one guy pillar. Let's say like one guy's paying pillar and then the rest of them are in the hall and, and elbow in this area, right? So what you would do, you could do you could flash. You could flash at the bottom. Go drop below. Kill the guy pillar. And then just stop here. Just just literally just stop at pillar because the reason being, yeah, you could swing out if you wanted to, but what you do here is make a hole right here. And when you're pillar like this, you can get an angle onto the rotate. This is a very popular rotate for the defenders. If you cut that off, the plan becomes easier. So now that you guys have the bunker, the bunker people are watching elbow. Maybe they even got, they have elbow control, right? Let's say they have elbow control. They can watch like freezer. They can watch the rotate. Also make sure you don't get flanked, but let's say, okay, all right, well, let's get bombed down now. What you can do is you can plant on the door like this because you have someone watching the hall and then you're safe from the bomb. So you can plant like right this, right? Boom. If you plant like this, then you're exposed to freeze, but this way you can kind of plant right here. You can be, you can be a little bit more tucked in safe. So you, the guy pillar should be able to watch the rotate or the hall, unless you have elbow control. Elbow watches this and then you just kind of like fade away on here. But yeah, that's basically how a tower minimal. Okay, let's say if I'm doing a west side over though. West side over means you're taking freezer in main this time. Freezer main take. So you would go through west side, come to pretty place, come over here. Minimal drone, get freezer hatch open, get main hatch open. But let's say you want to hit backside or you want like someone to backstab the hatch. You can if you want to and like drive late round. But yeah, for the most part, then you're just pushing down freeze. You push down main. Choose your gunfights, nade them out, and then you just kind of move forward. Laundry, and then you're in sight the other way. The other way would be, you know, obviously through main. Kill the guy here, kill the guy below a chala spot. Go in, boom, 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 boom. Obviously a little bit more complicated of a way, but uh, it's good if it's good if you want to mix up your take. But those are really the main back two spots for attacking Oregon. I mean, that's all I can really think about. So meeting is an interesting one. It's it's a lot more loose of a bomb site. The bomb is a lot more loose, so you can kind of play it however you'd like. But you should still have like pretty main main takes of playing it. So let's just go alibi for now. So I can show y'all. So the whole point of meeting, I would say the bomb goes down actually pretty frequently in meeting. What you do is reinforce this wall. Head holes right here. This way you don't get shot out. Rotate. Rotate. Reinforce the middle. Oh yeah, the operators that you want to bring on meeting are really just trap ops. Wall denial, wall denial and trap ops. That's because it's such a big bomb site. Traps and sound keys are so important. Uh, you make, you could make full holes right here. Just to kind of uh, make it a little bit harder for them to walk in. Otherwise, fully reinforce it off if you don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, you should only open up the hatch if you're going to play it. I'll show you guys why in a second. Oh yeah, traps would go like green door, anywhere in tower, you know, just put them on like areas of like outside of the bottom site. Put traps where you think people are going to come in from. Like bottom phrase is a really popular one too. So now I set up for a upstairs, you can make big window holes. Uh, I would say open up the hatch if you plan on falling back, otherwise reinforce it off if you don't think so. Rotate in the pit, but this is optional if you're just going, this is like an extended realm. You would reinforce these two walls. If you want more pressure, you can like make head holes here and kind of play around with it. But yeah, your main objective is to you, you don't have to roll up top. Keep an eye on the west side. Keep an eye on bottom freeze, bottom main, you know, just make sure they don't rush side basically. And then like, but late round, they're probably going to end either like hatch and tower or they're going to come west side. So yeah, you, like you just play off your sound and really that really is like the best way to play off. Just play off sound, play off where they're coming in from. Uh, but yeah, that's how that's a basic way to how to defend meeting. 
So how do you attack it now if it's a loose bomb site? Meeting is really you, you can go for like a lurk style. You can either go lurk style or you can go back T1 or attack tower minimal. Tower minimal does require more of a five stack. So let's say a, a tower, what's, what's like a tower minimal take? So it'll literally be the same thing. You would take top T3, but your main goal is to open up this wall. And then, you know, the bomb side is literally right here. So what you could do is you can run in and start planting behind this table right here. Your, your head will be covered. Or if you wanted to, you can plant on the door right here and make sure everything's covered right here. But yeah, the hardest part is getting this wall open and make sure you don't get flanked from below. And also, people like to play aggressive green hole, so you got the utility to clear these guys out. Um, but yeah, that's really this how simple the tower take is. Shoot them in sight, find a way to plant. And if they're taking, if they're holding top floor, and you open this up, and you make sure one, no one, no one hops up over here. Uh, the second take what you could do is do a lurk take across the map. A lurk take across the map would be like. You know, come through main, lork main, come up with freezer, flank security, bro. You know, like next thing you know, you're in sight. You know, just find a door in a site. Like just find a doorway in. It's really that simple. Don't don't hesitate too much. Be aware where angles you can get shot from. This hatch is most likely gonna be open if you come through here. But if you don't want to go tower side, you can just go minimal, small tower, and then plant the bomb right here. But while a lot of people do is some people like to take top floor. So if you take top floor, you would start from taking master over. Like think about it. You think about it. This is the same exact tick if you were to attack top floor. Clear out all of this. Open up the meeting hatch if you want to. Make vert inside kitchen. You know, boom. Make vert above it and then just go down and you shoot. But yeah, gun, gun, gun fights and everything, it's, it's going to dictate the round, so. But those are the two ways to attack meeting. Let's move on to the last one, small tower dining. I don't know why you would ever go to this bomb site, but if you do, just know it's a fucking kill fest, bro. It's literally like gun fights are going to happen so quickly. Let's see if I still remember how to, de how to defend this bomb site. New room? Nah, I just dipped wallpaper in the background, chief. Chat, WRL wallpaper. The white wallpaper. How do you guys feel about it? So we uh, reinforced this. And then you make a rotate here, make a rotate white. Shoot, is it's this way, right? Right sure there's left holes. Think about you want to just extend hold on showers, extend hold on here. Reinforce boom boom. Make handles in between sight. So we can see between. And make a security rotate too. This way you have extra ways of rotation. To either side doesn't matter. Like I said, bring traps, bro. Just bring, just like, you know, just make sure they don't walk in the building, man. Like, just make sure they don't walk in your sight. That's really it. Just don't let them walk close to sight. Early hold on to this room. Watch for the window. Yeah, man, if you die really early, you're going to lose this bomb sight. But if you kind of play your time, play your cards right, you'll get a better position. So, just make sure no one backstabs the back sight, but they're really all going to come front sight in a small tower, so... Yeah, man, that's really, really how you can play it. I don't really advise you guys to hold small tower. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Just make sure you know, because they have to play the bomb at the end of the day, so. Yeah, I mean, it, I'll show you the attack because small tower, is just, it's really so simple. It's the most simple thing ever. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it for you guys. On attack, my main goal is to clear showers and get this wall open. You wanna clear showers because this is a power position and it can fuck up your take. So, Harbreacher, Ace, or Habano, preferably open up a small tower wall. Take control of here, of showers. When you have control of showers, bro, you have control of this. And you can make sure no one walks through white. Uh, other attackers, make sure this wall gets opened up. You can plant right here on flag. Here. What my competitive team used to do, we used to plant in this corner right here. Obviously, you don't need to go that. You don't need to go that deep. But if you want to, you can. You really just need to make sure no one crosses white. No one crosses here. And your plant should be good, bro. Plant should be good. If you just come here, plant, plant right here. Your head ducks. Boom. Well, yeah, that's really it, man. Like, gunfights, like I said, like, it's ranked, bro. Gunfights are really going to lead you wherever you need to go. And how you should find the round. So, dude. Oregon is so boring to explain. However, it's so easy to play because it's such an easy map, bro. Y'all just need to understand how to play it. 
So, if this video did help you, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Uh, I stream on Twitch every single day. This is uh, exactly where I'm recording it. I'm recording it on Twitch right now. So, join up on the streams if you're from YouTube. Uh, comment what map you guys want me to do next. I'll be gladly to do all. I'm going to do all of them, but let me know which one you guys want next. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day.